Do you have free will? Or is free will an illusion created by the brain? Is it merely the product of external circumstances acting on a complex system with this eight and a half pounds of electrified pate? I think we have to um, content ourselves with mystery and some, sometimes, although much of science is to do with um, the elimination of, of, of certain aspects of it. Now, I don't know if there are mysteries or not, but if you're a scientist, you want to avoid believing in the mystery until you have to. Shakespeare, notably in the plays, people who fall in love very rarely speak to each other at all until after they've fallen in love. He never ever tries to say why they've fallen in love. They just fall in love and... The question that's um, been driving some of my research is this one. Are there sex differences in the brain? When people look at me, they just think I'm a normal person. And they, they, don't really get, they don't really get it. I have a son who has Asperger's. Um, it's like trying to put together a giant jigsaw puzzle without the benefit of the colour picture on the box. There is no owner's manual. Um, opening and closing and moving side to side. Mm -hmm. I am here on this panel because I think that constructing complicated and lengthy fictions um, is a form of disorder of the brain. <laughs> I'm not criticising the experiment, I'm just saying the experiment is going to say that we don't have free will. I can, I can argue that we don't have free will without performing the experiment. You have to listen to someone talk for a hell of a long time to have an idea of what exactly it is they mean or when they actually have those, those feelings.